Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today's video we're going to be talking about the extreme cold temperatures we have outside, the additional exhaust fan we had installed, talking about our temperatures, the improvements. If you think that's interesting, hit like, subscribe, hit the bell. And if you're looking for someone to manage a GPU mining farm such as this one right here, or if you're looking for ASIC mining, go to CryptoLLC.org, send us an email, and we'll get in touch. And also check out our other social media accounts on Gab, Parlor, Rumble, Mines, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, and everywhere else. All right, so today it's like really cold outside. I'll show you guys the temperatures in this room. You can see it's 48 degrees, nice and cold. Outside it's around 30 degrees. So for Celsius, it's eight. And basically it was around zero, maybe a couple hours ago. So that's how cold it is here. How many uh, GPUs we have running is around 500, maybe five, 600. We almost got all of our uh, rigs online. So only have one more left right here at the top. This rig right there, it's only got one, two, three, four, five GPUs on there. So once we have that one filled up, then everything is full. That means that we are using all 400 amps at this location. That's three phase, 400 amps. We're actually going over a little bit, doing about 200 and about 210 uh, for each of the panels and there's two panels so we're using a lot that gives you an idea of how much heat this area is producing you can see all those GPUs a lot of heat but our air intake system here is managing it just fine so it's our current setup if you guys are watching the previous videos you would know what we were trying to accomplish and we were trying to work something out so we had to put this tarp in to direct the cold air directly onto the GPUs um, rather than having it just you know kind of being blown in and then getting stuck here in the center instead of continuing on into the GPUs then we also installed a exhaust to see how that works so got one there and it's working really good it's blowing out a lot of the hot air so that's helping out you can see we're working on a couple of uh, exhaust fans here and we got these exhaust fans from Uline you see the company here and the uh, fans are so flimsy and because they're so flimsy they were just breaking I'll show you the difference here if you look at these blades these are our replacement blades you can see how thick it is it's nice thick steel you can see how really massive that is it's really thick but then if you look at uh, their fans the ones that they sent well not the fans but the propellers let's see if I find one I'm trying to find one here laying around oh here it is if you look at their propellers you see how thin they are and how very cheaply they're made you can see how cheap that is and uh, what would happen is it would crack here at the pop ribbits and it'll have a crack and then eventually the whole fan will just shred to pieces. So we had to get these really thick metal propellers and we're replacing all these cheap ones with the nice propellers. But currently as it is right now, they're running at maximum speed. So those two fans in the back right here, those two fans are running at uh, 22 CFMs or 22,000 CFMs, 22, 25,000 CFMs. That's the maximum speed. And that one at the top is also running at max speed, you know, 22 to 25,000 CFMs. So that's really good airflow. And as you can see, it's handling it real good, real nicely. It's uh, not heating up. Temperatures are good. And again, we're dumping a lot of hot air into the uh, warehouse here. We also have these fans at the bottom here. These fans are directing the hot air to the top and then that's gonna cause the hot air to go to the top which it does anyway but it's kind of helps it out because the back area over here tends to be hotter so we want to make sure we're blowing it all out you can see some of the temperatures here see current temperature is 78 so you can see it's a lot warmer but of course it's right next to the GPU that makes sense but still you can see that it's not extreme extremely hot which it would be otherwise if it wasn't for the air intake and the exhaust over there and then as well as these fans at the bottom. So everything's working good. 
We uh, think we solved the uh, air intake, air exhaust uh, nuance here. Wasn't really a problem, but now that it's fully solved, we're doing just fine with these 400 amps. Now, let me talk to you guys about some of our uh, some of our proposals we have here for any of our clients. If you're interested in owning yourself a rig, a 3080 rig, I'll show you something that you could own for yourself. Here's a 3080 rig right here. You have, this one's a little bit of a mix. It's what is available, that's what we get. But usually we get the Zotac. Sometimes we might end up with MSIs or even Gigabyte over there. Doesn't really matter, these are all 3080s running here. 14 GPUs, you would get all 14 GPUs. We acquire them, we set everything up, we manage everything for five years. If you think that's interesting, go to Crypto LLC, send us an email. We also have other potential uh, rigs that you could acquire for yourself. So we have different options for our clients. This is a 3090 rig right here. So you got eight at the top and two at the bottom. So it's, it's 10 GPUs. And the reason why we do that is because it's using um, almost the whole entire 20 amp uh, circuit. So we don't wanna go past, well, it's not really 20, it's using about 18. We don't want to go past that, so we keep it at 10, 3080, uh, 3090 GPUs. This one's a 3080 Zotac. You can see all of our Zotac. This is a 3080 Zotac, 3080 Zotac, 3080 Zotac. We also have options for 3080 Ti. So if you're interested in any of those, send us an email. Uh, you can pick between a 3090, 3080 Ti, or 3080. The prices are different, so go to Crypto LLC, send us an email. And if you're looking for ASIC mining, Check out our other social media um, uploads that we have on YouTube. Search our channel, you'll find ASIC videos there. So we have different options for all of our clients. If you're interested in any of those, we can set that up. Well, that's going to be it for this video. Hope you guys like it. Hit like, subscribe, hit the bell. And until next time, bye.